this lesson could be quite an important one, we're going to talk through confirmation bias. Basically what that is, is you'll note that traders that have positions on, or people in general that have positions on, will be more biased towards upside or downside dependent on where they are positioned. If you hold shares in a company, then psychologically, when you look at the chart, you are favouring the upside because you have an interest in that stock. So you pretty much want the stock to go higher. It's very hard to switch this off. You look at that chart and you are looking for signs to confirm your bias that it's going to go higher. That's what is called confirmation bias. The best thing that you can do to guard against this, especially when day trading, is at the end of every day, cancel your positions. Make sure you are flat, meaning you have no positions on. Because then, when you look at gold or the S&P, you don't care if it's gonna go up or down. All that you care about is that you see it coming before it happens. If I am short gold and the market closes at night and reopens again that night and the next day, am I really going to notice a reversal? Because I'm looking for more downside. I'm looking for signs on that chart. So be aware of confirmation bias and that it can play tricks on you. This would be another good time to tell you about the one minute trading rule that a professional trader taught us. They said, if you look at a chart and you can't work out within one minute if that's going up or down, then don't take the trade. You should be able to look at a chart, and you will get this in your career, where you look at a chart and you say, that is screaming buy. Within 10 seconds, you looked at it saying, that is a very well-formed pattern, this chart's going higher. That is a trade you should take. If you have to sit and look and look and look and look at this chart to work out what's going to happen, it's probably not the right trade for you.